All right, hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Core Defense. It's, uh, let's see, difficulty, heart, oh my gosh. <laughs> so apparently there's only one difficult, uh, <laughs> there's hard difficulty to start, and then it gets worse every time. What a game. Let's, let's get going. This is your core, defend it, survive 50 waves. Choose ta tower. Freezer, healer, disruptor, boom blaster. This might still be a little loud. Okay, so I don't know what Boom Blaster or Disruptor do. Freezer, I'm curious also about the colors. I'm gonna go Freezer Towers because they're, oh, hey. It'll actually tell me, slows mobs around it, range, status effect, slow, duration, does it do damage? It says rare, uncommon, and then these are the common. I'm gonna try the Freezer Tower if it's rare. Okay, get a rare tower, cool. You can change your build at any time. Build on units to remove them. Okay. So, what we want to do, I have, it looks like I have walls and one freeze tower. I don't have enough oomph. To really block everything off. Uh, is there... Is there a better way for this? Yeah. There we go. It's not much. Uh, let's see. Let's move... Oops. Move this over here. Move this here. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm not actually even sure if the freeze tower even does damage, which is a little bit of a worry. It slows them down, but I think we might be doomed. Hello? Oh. Okay, so I can increase the slow duration or the range. I think I got to go for the... Disruptor tower. Maybe? Maybe not. So an extra second for the slow duration. I'm gonna go with that. Ah! Pacifist bonus. Module masonry. You get two walls when you choose a wall as a reward. Disruptor or a repeater. This looks like it does damage. Gains attack speed for every mob it kills. So this would give me more walling. That's really good. Okay, I have no idea how pacifism works. Okay. So, freezer... Let's go wall. Let's see, ability shield. Shields nearby allies for a percentage of their max health. Module reach. Okay, I think... I think I'm ultimately dooming myself here. As I'm just going to be taking damage and... I have no means of actually fighting these things. Because I'm certainly slowing them down. I like the pacifist bonus though. The idea of it is kind of cool. Ah, oh, let's see. Does this actually do damage? The answer is no. Heal 2% of the max health start of every wave. Yeah, the big issue is just, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage here, and there's not a whole lot that I can do to stop that. I can slow them down, but... Bleh. The purpose of the pacif pacifist bonus seems to let you pull off this kind of start and then recover from it later. Yeah, I'm getting that. Ooh, slows them down even further. Sure. Lightning tower. That's what I'm looking for. All right. 
So I have to put it on one of these. Well, in that case... Let's get me some more wall bits. Okay. Move here. We want to do freeze tower here, lightning tower here. Start wave. Okay, this should be better now. So they're actually shooting at me. Okay. Mildly frustrating, not a big deal. We could go for a repeater wall. Let's go for a regular wall. And flawless bonus. Boom blaster, lightning, stable damage? Okay, sure. Okay, so I'm going to have them kind of loop around here. It doesn't look like we can do too much mazing. Okay, so I can't move it. At least not currently. There we go. Alright, Flawless. Ability Frenzy. Let's see. Increases the range. Freezer. Slow duration. Range. Okay. Option Paralysis. One more reward to choose from. Frenzy or Hammer Tower. Attack single targets for massive damage. Okay. I'm gonna do that. The the damage is a little worrying. The fact that these that these towers will actually hit me is going to be obnoxious. Okay, treasure hunter. Higher chance of uncommons and rares, higher chance of rolling core modules. Let's go on commons and rares and tinker for reach. 10% range bonus for towers and abilities. Ooh. Okay. And yeah, it does look like the Danobot healing is actually working really well for me. Okay. Hammer speed. Freezer range. Freezer. Let's go hammer speed. Not the most helpful. I'm curious about abilities. Okay, you can select target preferences for most towers. Admittedly, I'm not sure how. Maybe it's while they're actually going. Ah, here we go. Close, high health, low health. High health. Yep. So we pretty much know how this works already. Alright, that's not so bad. Repeater, freezer range, melter? Single targets, reducing their armor. Tempting. Otherwise, we could just do freezer range or go for a repeater. Let's go melter. Melter speed, more walls, or tinkerer? Go tinkerer. Not the most efficient. We'll figure it out. Less is more. One reward less, much higher chance of rares. Otherwise, more nanobots or more reach. Ooh, these are... Kind of tough. I don't think I need less is more. Reach is kind of tempting. Or more nanobots. Let's go for more nanobots for the time being. And lightning damage is real tempting. Yeah, let's go for this. This is kind of neat, actually. Oh, so that's how shield works. So it gives them just like a temporary uh, shield buff. Okay. Heal Ray. Heals a single... Yes.
Okay. So we now have a heal tower. Which means if any of my towers get hit, they will heal up. So I can just, uh, I can just ignore. Let's go lightning damage. And... Hammer speed? Sure. Well, I'm doing decent. And it looks like that shield carries over, too. Okay, I think I need to actually turn the sound up for this back to what it was. Turn the music down, I think. Uh, let's see. We don't need a healer tower. Let's keep doing lightning damage. And let's go for a wall. Uh, some walls. But first, let's turn the music down. Let's see. I will reorganize this eventually. That guy was punchy. That guy hurt. Uh, let's see. Module auto shields. Beginning with each wave, all units gain 2% shields. Uh, just extra healing. Extra. Let's go auto shields. That could stack. 40% slow. Worth it. And yeah, with the heal ray, we pretty much don't need to worry about healing anymore, so we should probably focus on damage and some other stuff. Manually control tower fires and I... I gotta. Let's go melter speed. Not that it's too much. I think we might have inventory problems. Okay, so how does this work? Oh, that's how that works. Okay, that's kind of fun. Shield stacks. Or shield cooldown. Or shield stacks. And lightning bounces. So it looks like we've got our... We've got our start. Wow, that ion cannon is good stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, ion cannon penetration. Sure. Uh, let's see, shield cooldown. Yeah, let's go heal ray range. Just guarantee. Uh, let's actually move the hammer out here. There we go. Okay, so we've got we've got the big gun. I guess I should have aimed at the the big guy. I was kind of hoping that they'd be slow enough to hit all of them. I We've got a couple of different options that I can do. Uh, let's do lightning damage. And lightning speed? Yes. So in this case, we might want to start going for some walls. Okay. Melter armor reduction. Module Quicken. Uh, let's see. Hammer speed, hammer speed. I'll have to pick up... I will, I will absolutely have to pick up some walls here. As we need to actually have these guys start looping around. Okay, option paralysis. One more reward. Less is more or auto shields. Uh, you know, at this point... Let's actually go for one more reward to choose from. Okay. Well, I've got a lot more walls. So let's actually tear everything up for a little while. Hopefully they get to keep their stats. If they don't, oh well. Okay. So I've got three, four, four entrances that they're coming from.
I think the main problem I'm running into is that my core is not in the best spot. But that's okay. There we go. That should work. Auto healer there should hit everybody. Big cannon. And melter. I guess actually... I'm going to put the melter th there. Yeah, probably. Because eventually we're going to want to actually force these guys... Uh, get one more set of walls, force all of these guys go all the way around. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's see. Let's take a break. Nope. More lightning damage? I feel like I have to. And let's go reach. I know I want to get some more walls, but that's not super important right now. I am... I'm actually really digging this. It's... It's got that same level of creative... design that I... Let's see, Melter damage. We don't really need the damage, though. I'm mostly using the lightning for that. That or hammer speed. Let's go for lightning damage. Let's just go for madcap lightning damage. Let's get zappy. And yeah, I don't actually need the shield module. I kind of wish I could get rid of it, but it's probably too late for that. Ow. Uh, freezer slow him out. I gotta. Oh, that has incredibly short range. I didn't realize that with a hammer. Okay. That'll have to do for now. Okay, and I can shield my core. Not that it really makes too much of an immediate difference. Okay, here we go. This should be better. I told you it was pretty good and didn't even know it existed until today. Me either. I think I'd seen it, but I just hadn't thought of it. Uh, let's see. So, hammer speed's pretty tempting. I think we're gonna go wall, though. Uh, let's see. Ion cannon damage would make a massive difference, but I think I'm gonna keep going for lightning damage. There we go. Okay. So now we can actually redo much of this. Because now the Ion Cannon gets extremely long range. Uh, let's move the frost over here, lightning there. Oops. Hammer there. You melter there? I don't remember. How long does... It doesn't say. Well, we'll have to just trust in the melter. How long does that... Status duration is two seconds. Yeah, so I think my main issue is just going to be I don't do quite not quite enough damage, but now I can actually start using this. We're going to be losing a lot of my bonuses, though. Okay. I'm kind of penetration. Let's see. Melter damage isn't that helpful. Let's see, 40 armor penetration. We don't really need the heal ray. I, in fact, I got too much healing. I overreacted there. Uh, you know what? Move the frost ray there. This way, 
hopefully the melter gets a better immediate usage. Uh, let's see, is there anything I can move around? Yes. Oh, but I can't. That's a little better. Forces them to take at least a somewhat longer way around. There they go. That does the trick. Thank you, Ion Cannon. And with that slow, we actually get to do even more. Ooh, hammer damage. Yeah, that's worth it. Let's see, freezer slow duration for another couple of seconds. Sure. One thing I could see being cool, map variety that might have natural features that you can build through around. Yeah, that would be lovely. There, there's a couple of different things that could be done here. And I'm curious to see how it'll go. I don't know if this is early access or anything. Let's see, less is more hammer speed. Yeah, let's keep going hammer speed. I don't need shield stacks, so I guess I'm just going to keep going for the ion cannon. It does a stupid amount of damage. Not early access. Okay. I still would love to see some post-launch support for the, for a game like this. Woo! These things are all giving themselves shields. Wow! Dang. Well, we've unlocked some new things. Sniper, heal, roll the dice. Alright, let's try that again. Less healing. We don't need it. We need one healing thing and that's about it. So... The Ion Cannon was fun. but very slow and kind of risky. Let's go hammer. We don't need to heal that much. So let's go for a wall. Okay, hopefully the hammer's enough for this one. Let's go up to three. Yep, that was good. Uh, let's see. So let's go hammer speed. Harden core. Boom blaster. Attacks all ta targets around it. Uh, I'll try and go for cores, because cores carry over. Okay, so tower healer. Heals all adjacent units. It's tempting. A lot of these are kind of tempting. I feel like the tower, the healing tower might be a decent solution. Yeah, I'll get the healer tower while we're here. And that'll just have to do. I want to get really good modules this time around. Okay, hammer speed. Yeah. We don't need much healing. Win a run, you get an extra bonus reward in the next one. Ooh. That's kind of nice. Module reach. Yes. Refine. 4% damage bonus on towers and abilities. Yes. I'm just trying to be somewhat efficient with these. Let's see. Healer speed. Tempt it. Yeah, we'll go for it. It's not like we're taking a whole heck of a lot of damage here. These these will make me take some damage. Oh, and that wasn't considered flawless. Because it it actually bounced to my core. Well, that's obnoxious. Something from nothing. Extra wall if you skip a, a reward. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, sniper? And hammer damage. Look at a sniper. Uh, let's see. Sniper speed? Sure. 
Unfortunately, we've got some really heavy hitters. Which actually works out quite well for me. And luckily, my core gets to go back up to full health. Shield generator. Okay, this design for mazing seems like a good idea. Risky, though? Alternatively, let's try let's try crazy pants. Okay, so the hammer does a ton of damage. This worked out. Tinkerer, higher chance of rolling, rolling cores. Some of the other ones would be good, but yeah, let's go Tinkerer. And we don't really need nanobots, so let's go sniper range. What if I can actually get multiple snipers? Let's see, repeater. Attack speed for every mob it kills. Not the most useful. And I don't know... Oh, inhibiting all actions. Interesting. And Melter didn't really help me that much. Oh, I didn't get the upgrade that actually gave me walls based on that one. Okay, one for each. Oh, let's see, reach. Yeah, let's go for that. Roll the dice. Oh, reroll rewards, an additional time per range. Er, it's tempting. I want to grab it. Yeah, we'll grab it. It'll be helpful. I want the extra reach, because giving my sniper a crazy range would be hilarious. So you can only have one of each tower. Interesting. Lack of AoE here is a bit of a problem, but I do enough damage that I just one-shot through most of these things. Well, more reach. More reach. Yeah, so the sniper can just abuse things from far away. I love it. Uh, let's keep doing hammer speed and sniper range. It will shoot the whole map. So what was the first game you ever recorded and posted? Uh, it's, it's up there. I don't actually have any hidden early stuff. I did some tests, I guess. Owie. Yeah, I don't know if this strat's working quite as well as I like. I like the sniper, it just doesn't do quite enough damage. There it is. Or we could go lightning tower. I gotta go lightning tower, it's too good. It's a bad place for it. We'll put it there. At least for now. This way it can hit multiple. But yeah, it was it was Banjo uh it was Banjo Tooie, one of Shell's favorite games growing up. Where could we start with that one? I did a couple of tests that weren't like actually recorded, just like kind of practicing commentary. Uh with trials, I think it was. Okay, having that extra tower makes a huge difference. Frenzy lasts for three seconds, increases attack speed. It's tempting, but I'm going to keep working on that. Do we want to go nanobots? Because I don't need the ability for shield. Yeah, so we'll do nanobots just for a little bit. Ooh, that hurt. Quicken. Uh, let's see. 3% attack speed bonus for towers. 
And there's the freezer. It's worth it. I just have to figure out how to fit it places. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put it there. Rough. Go freezer range. Okay, yeah, I don't have a good finisher here. I guess the sniper tower does not need to be where I had it. That should be a good spot for all of that. Okay. That's better. Except for the lightning tower, we really need those walls. That's the main thing that's donking me. I guess I should probably switch put the lightning right there. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was kind of hoping it would, like, shoot back into this, but lightning just does not have the range. Ah, sniper speed. There we go. Uh, let's see. Undo that for a second. Put the wall there. Alright. That's a decent spot for lightning for now. Okay. Oh, uh, these are big bombs. I think these kill me. Nope, they don't. Pacifist bonus. Didn't kill a single one. Frickin' spooky. Okay. Put that there. Freezer there, that way it holds all of them. And I'm gonna put the healer there so it, it can get me back up. And there we go. Decent, but not as great, so I gotta survive. Okay, well, at this point, this is a pretty good stopping point for the first episode. I like this game more than I thought it was going to. I thought this was gonna be kind of a one-off, you know, like, hey, it's a cool... Not really deck builder tower defense. This doesn't really do deck building. Somebody said it was a lot of deck building, but I don't believe it. It it very much is a tower defense roguelike, and that is actually really cool. There aren't a whole lot of games like that on the market, and so I kind of want to play with that sort of thing a lot more than this. Uh, I'd love to see the, the genre expand, in fact. I feel like tower, de tower defense games are some of the most unserved in the market, uh, but they also tend to be the most generic a lot of them are very samey and i think this one follows the same falls into the same pit traps or it's just kind of like okay you have your lightning tower your high damage tower your rapid tower and there's a couple that really stand out as being really cool and i really enjoy playing with them uh, but it feels like it needs a little bit more luckily the developer is actually going to be expanding this game with more content so it's one of those that we hopefully shouldn't have to wait too long before we get some new tower types and It'd be really cool if you could, like, combo towers together or something like that. Because can you imagine, like, Sniper Lightning or uh, Sniper with the... Oh, there's some towers you guys haven't even seen yet. That would be rad. All right, Sniper with the Radiation wouldn't be bad. Hit them with it early so they get uh, they get that debuff sooner. Oh, that'd be so rad. Uh, but so the developer said he was going to be updating this game over the next however long. Uh, so this might kind of be like Tower where we do a couple episodes now and then come back when it's done done and have a lot more fun then. Because uh, this has a lot of promise and I can't wait to see where they take it. 
But for now, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I've got at least four more episodes, three or four more episodes, plus I might play more of this just because it was that fun. Uh, and then eventually we'll come back and play even more. But until then, thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you next time.